Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. My name is D-Free here today. We have, as you see, an LR, Trunks, and Mai. So we are going to go over the card itself. Uh, we are also going to show off the super attack and all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you happen to be new for more content. And of course, when you listen to the video, let me know what you guys think about this unit being the next LR that's come out. Uh, the first LR that's come out in a while. Like, we're going to go back and check out when the last LR was, for example. All different things like that. So, first thing I want to say is before we even take a look at the unit, because I don't even know what it does. Right. First thing I want to say is I think that's dope art. I think that thematically this is a really, really cool LR considering that the last Dokkan Festival exclusive leader was Goku Black. And as you guys know, a lot of times they do try to drop LRs that fit into, again, the thematics, the, the category, different things like that of the most recent Dokkan Festival unit. And there hasn't been, again, a Dokkan Festival, uh, well, not Dokkan Festival, but a summonable LR in a very long time, it seems like anyway. But... Um, I do think this is a peculiar thing. I think this is a peculiar time as well. Like, Goku Black's been out for a couple weeks now. I think this should have came out, like, a week later. Um, now, here's the deal. They never said that there was going to be... Let's just clear the air. They never said there was going to be new units. From what I recall, they said that there was going to be a Dragon Ball Super Broly movie campaign. So... Of course, they're going to capitalize on. You have to believe they're going to. Of course, the data miners as well, the, the French data miners do believe so as well. So, I mean, everything points towards that, of course. Um, but I do think that if they were going to capitalize on that, I think this is a really weird unit to drop right now. Unless he's going to be on the banner with them, which, I mean, I, I guess. Probably not, right? So, that's a weird thing to drop. So, anyways, let's go ahead and transition over to the Dokkan Reddit Thank you guys so much for the translations over here. If you guys are listening, I appreciate it. Anyways, we have DD Rose 2. He says, uh, Beyond Time and Space category, the new Goku Black's Time Traveler category. Four key and 130% across all stats. That's interesting. Um, Super STR units are also given four key and 100% all stats. So he's another one of those units. Yes, uh, the four key and 100% all stats. But it seems like they have decided that they're not going to just finish off the super and extreme ones. So we had uh, Goten and Trunks, we had Bojack, we had uh, Cell, we had a Bardock. Those units that offered their primary type, you know, four key and 100%. And then the secondary um, type for their elements, you know, the, the physical, extreme physical, like, you know, like Bardock was offering, what, uh, two key and 70%, I think it was, right? Something like that. So, like, um,. It seems they're not going to be finishing off that meta. This is interesting because, you know, that's this is different. This is different. So they're kind of doing a little bit of both. Um, so I like it. There's not a whole lot of category LRs, and this is another one. So we'll see if it has Fierce Battle or not. We'll see a di about different things like that. I assume this wouldn't be a festival exclusive, though. That's just, that's just me. Anyways, um, passive skill. Increases their card's attack by 70%. And for each member on your team with Beyond Space, Time, and Category. Okay, so attack only? Okay. Uh, gains another attack and defense up. Okay. By seven, by 10%, excuse me, to a maximum of 70. Okay. And if your enemy team if your enemy team has a card with Future Arc Category, this card gains plus six key and high chance to dodge enemy attacks. Um... That passive is very good. It's a very good passive. It's a very generic passive. It's it's weirdly worded, um, but it's not like anything crazy. Like because the the last part there where you gain six key and high chance to dodge is awesome. But you kind of realize that that only takes place against you know Goku Black events or events that feature Goku Black as Masu, um, Vegito Blue, like things like that. You know I, they have to be in that time traveler category. I'm pretty sure Vegito Blue is in that category. If not, long story short, um, it's not going to be something that you're going to get very, very, very often. So, other than that, like, I mean, when you look at, like, Super Battle Road, for example, again, it's not going to be something you get very often. So, a lot of times, you're just going to get the 70% plus an additional 70% attack and defense if you do use him on his proper team. So, all things considered, it's actually really cool that they gave him that secondary leader skill because that's a really good secondary leader skill for one. Anyway, four key and 100% to all stats. For S super STR types, maybe they, maybe it does have. I mean, it's the exact same leader skill. I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm so dumbfounded by why they didn't do the extreme types get what two key and seventy percent, whatever it is. Um, but anyways, so 
the 70% attack and defense, I mean, if you use it on its natural team again, you're going to get all the boosts. If not, there is room for improvement there. It's not going to be the best defensive unit unless you do have a handful of those types of units on your team. Um, I don't think that the super attack did anything, right? Yeah, I actually, I'm pretty sure we have that here anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, so it stuns actually. Wow, that's interesting. Now, you guys know how I feel about stuns. I love the mechanic. I loved building full stun teams, but unfortunately, as you guys know these days, they um, they they don't have access to that anymore, right? So that being said, a lot of times they just can't do it, so it's not that great in those scenarios. Apologies if the passive seems confusing, but that is what I read it as. If I'm wrong, please do correct me in my Japanese. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So, and then the hall chimes in. Um, I think that. The thing about this is somebody down there made a very good point. The thing about this card is being four key and 130, I I don't know if this category really needs that. I, I think you might as well just use the regular Goku Black as a leader. Like, it's cool for the LRs, I think, but like, eh, you know? Eh. Um, where are the links? We didn't have links translated. I just kind of realized there was no translated links. <laughs> oh, boy. And there's nothing about them being transformable either. So I'm going to go out on a limb and just say they have some of the generic links. I don't even know if my does anything as far as link wise, but some of the ones to look out for, unless I missed it, which is my mistake. Some of the links to look out for um, would be the, well, let's just pull up trunks. that will be a little easier. Uh, we'll pull up some of the, some of the trunks units here. And then we're going to go back and look at the super attack. I have not forgotten. Uh, we're gonna go to cards. We'll just we'll just look at LR trunks for example. This is actually kind of annoying though because I don't know if it has fierce battle or if it has, um, if it has fierce battle. But I can actually try to compare the kanji's life. Uh, so anyways, it'll have like dismal future for one. Prepare for battle should be a thing. Maybe even shocking speed. Uh, it doesn't transform, so it's not going to have Super Saiyan. It will definitely have Cold Judgment, in my opinion. It's part of the way to give him some sort of defensive boost as well. Uh, things of that nature. So we're going to actually go back to Trunks and see if I can compare the kanjis really, really quickly. If Google Translate gets turned off. Hold on. We're going to turn off Google Translate. Uh, Where's that option at again? Here it is. Okay. Um, We'll just leave it on... Japan. No! Stop! Huh. There's no Japanese. Pretty sure that's not right. This is finicky. This is really finicky. Alright, there we go. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one was too key. Alright, let's see that last link over here. Just to see if that last link is, in fact. Oh. That is, well, the second to last link. Hold on. I do think it has rebirth now. Looking at it, it does look like rebirth. Uh, Actually, no, that's fierce battle. That is definitely fierce battle. Hold on. Because it's not the same kanji. Yep, it's Fierce Battle. So this unit has Fierce Battle. That's pretty cool. Probably Dokkan Awakens from either the old Trunks event, maybe even a combination of events, but it has Fierce Battle. So that's nice to see. Um, had to do some really, really weird stuff, but that's fine. Again, hopefully I didn't just miss that they had it on there. Uh, so anyways, before we proceed, I know a lot of you guys like to see super attacks. Let's do that really quickly. Oh. oh my, oh my goodness. Nope, I really like that. That back-to-back -back art. Yo, I like that. It's a, it's not the best super attack they've done, but it's 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 very simple. It's very good. Uh, I like it, I like it. So that's how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, as far as that goes, you know, it works, it works, it works. It's not the best, but I like it. Okay. 
So, last thing we're going to do before we get out of here. Sorry about the roundabout. It took a while to try to discern the kanji, but I did it live for you guys. So, you guys see some of the struggles that JP players have to go through if they don't know <laughs> how to uh, translate. So, anyways, moving on. We have a look at the festival units. Again, that LR is cool because it fits this category. It also should fit in the new combination category, duos category, as I call it, you know, before they had that idea. I'm gonna always hold on to that because that was one of my favorite ideas. Uh, but as you see here, it, it's it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since we got a new summonable LR. All these categories didn't get one. Him, him, you know, these categories didn't get new summonable units at all, right? Um, and I really thought that they were going to do that. The last summonable unit we had was in October for Goku and Frieza. It has been some time, guys. So, ultimately, that is it. Again, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think this is weird timing? Do you think that the trunks is good? I do believe so. Uh, I'm sorry that I do not have the exact links for the unit, but again, we do know that it has Fierce Battle, so it should awaken from some form of events as well. Ultimately, that was it, though. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, my goodness. They just showed up. Legendary Power, Fierce Battle, Dismal Future, Courage, Prepare for Battle, Cold Judgment, and Brainiacs. Okay, that's about what I figured, because he wasn't Super Saiyan. He wasn't going to have all that other stuff that a lot of times he does have. And then he was forced to have Dismal Future and Legendary Power. Also was going to have Prepare for Battle, because that, that would have been insane if they didn't. I didn't even consider Brainiacs. That's a good link for him to have, or him and Mai to have. Uh, Courage is different. That link is not very common at all, but it is what it is. Uh, anyways, that's it. I forgot what else I was saying. Have an awesome day, everyone, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.